Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Chantilly, Virginia that occurred in Fairfax County, Virginia on September 1st, 1862. The results of the Battle of the Second Bull Run was a full retreat by Union General John Pope. Pope pulled his men back to Centerville and set up a defensive position. In an effort to catch Pope, Confederate Commander Robert E. Lee sent Stonewall Jackson and 20,000 men to flank and cut off the Union retreat, while Confederate General Longstreet tried to pin Pope down. General Pope, expecting to be chased, pulled back and set up outside Germantown on the evening of August 31st. The battle commenced on September 1st, just southeast of the Chantilly Plantation. This occurred when Stonewall was caught by U.S. Major General Jesse L. Reno's Ninth Corps and a raging thunderstorm in the middle of the battle, which severely hampered visibility and made the battle worse than normal, as the troops would have to rely heavily on the use of bayonets in the storm. Union Brigadier General Isaac Stephen led his division in the attack. They initially pushed back Confederate Colonel Henry Strong's brigade and drove into the flank of Captain William Brown. Brown was killed almost immediately after this push. All may have been lost for the Confederacy if it hadn't been for one of our returning generals, Confederate Brigadier General Jubal Early and his brigade. Unfortunately for Stephen, Jubal's assault quickly overwhelmed the Union troops and Stevens himself was killed at 5 p.m. that day by a shot through his temple. All might have been lost for the Union if the storm hadn't erupted into full force at this time limiting the ranged fire, and if U.S. General Kearney hadn't arrived to take over General Stevens' command in addition to his own troops. Bad luck was not over for the Union yet, as General Kearney accidentally rode into the Confederate lines during the battle and was killed. Union Brigadier General David B. Burney, not to be confused with Kearney, took over for General Kearney and with two brigades of reinforcements arriving, was able to act as a rear guard for Pope's forces. By 6.30 p.m. that evening, Pope's army had successfully escaped Stonewall Jackson and Longstreet with the help of the recently slain Kearney and Stephen. Lee took advantage of Pope's retreat as well by turning his entire army northwest and invading the north itself. The casualties for the Confederates was relatively light with only 800 men killed, wounded, or missing. Meanwhile, the Union suffered a larger setback with the loss of 1,300 men killed, wounded, or missing, but the biggest loss to the Union was two Union commanders, Isaac Stevens and Philip Kearney. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.